Hey guys, welcome to my channel and from this video I will start the ClickSense tutorial. I have been getting a lot of requests related to the ClickSense tutorial about uh, posting some of the videos about how to do the stuff in ClickSense. So I thought of creating a tutorial. So I will be posting a lot of videos related to ClickSense. I hope you would find it useful and if you would find, go ahead and uh, uh, hit the like button and subscribe so that you can keep getting that information directly in your inbox all right and don't forget to share them with your friends colleagues who wants to learn click sense well with that uh let's see what is click sense and as it says it is a self-service bi tool and a platform for visual data analysis but let me give you some other perspective well uh if you are from if you are new on my channel, um, you will probably not aware about the other videos that I have posted because I am blogging it from past to the like five years from 2013, like mid of 2013 I believe, and I started with Click View. That's like uh, what we can say is either a father or a grandfather for Click Sense because uh, Click View is uh, Click View was one of the uh, one of those tools you know which i found it very useful as compared to the other tools and i was so much in love with that that i even started doing the blogging about it and that's how it all picked it up and uh, after uh, after like uh, two years in 2015 i started hearing about the click sense and uh, initially it was not that mature and there were a lot of development going on so um, i stayed a little bit but uh, now i think people corporate have started adopting it. a lot of companies have started adopting it and there are a lot of buzz around the click sense about what it is and uh, um, what it is and um, how would you basically differentiate with the click view well in that case um, if, if you are looking at it from the comparison perspective um, click sense i would say is more modern as compared to the click view ClickSense has all the capabilities which you would usually find in the click view. Uh, we will see it in action. Definitely some of the things are new and some of the things are still in development for ClickSense. So sometimes it may be frustrating for you if you are uh, transitioning from click view to ClickSense. But uh, I would take it like this that uh, BI industry is uh, getting advanced day by day and click view probably was not serving the purpose of the self-service visualization tool uh, which is modern from the data visualization perspective and adoptable with uh, which can show to corporates uh, about some nice looking graphs charts which is in uh, self-serviceable by nature well that's i would say at a high level difference also i would think like this as compared to tableau if you will um tableau has been promoted as one of the best visualization tool and uh, i would not disagree with that because for any new user who is not having any kind of uh, programming background can still play around with it and get some basic done, uh, stuff set uh, done uh, within minutes so it has been promoted as a self-service bi tool it has been promoted as a um most modern and advanced uh, bi tool so i think what click is doing with the click sense is trying to compete with the tableau in this area where it is making click sense so kind of making transition from click view to click sense and making it self service bi tool so a uh, lot of theory uh, about it but i wanted to express uh, this because a lot of a lot of you may have questions related to oh how i compare it when i compare it with tableau uh, how it is when i compare it with the click view how it is so just trying to give you in a nutshell what the difference is so what it what is click sense i told you uh, but these these are some highlighted points self service bi tool and platform for visual data analysis now how does it work well similar to click view as i said it is it is inheriting um how click view works because i see this picture in 2013 as well where they were trying to make a case that uh, these are this is how the historical traditional bi system works where you need to make a selection uh, to reach to a salesperson 
you just cannot reach to a salesperson you need to first make a selection region then in state then in product then in salesperson so you need to follow a hierarchy but when it comes to either click view or click sense you know you can go in any direction you can directly select a salesperson and then select the state and then select a product or maybe salesperson then product or maybe first product then region so it, it works in what they say is it works like your mind your mind can ask any question and uh, and and you start exploring the answer so it, it doesn't really matter uh, where the exploration starts click basically gives you this flexibility that you don't have to follow any hierarchy you just keep doing the selection based on the question in the in your mind maybe the question is uh, which salesperson has done the highest sales in the uh, specific region or a specific country a question like this so it st starts with a salesperson you will you will have the sales metric and then you will have some options which will give you the top sales and then you will select the region and so on and so forth so question can start from anywhere and that's where click sense or click view will really come into the picture where they they allow you to make the selection the way your mind wants so that's how click sense work and uh, without further delaying uh, let me show you uh, how you can get the click sense so here we have the click sense the website click www.click.com us and we have two options we have a free trial and try or buy so if we click on the free trial or try or buy it will take us to the same screen so let's go here and we have two options click sense cloud and click sense desktop well you can try it for free um, as long as you want so no issues there and you can if you don't want to install it and uh, want to use the cloud version for free you can get it so go ahead and click on the get a free account once you click on the get a free account you need to fill up some of the information about yourself password job title telephone country enable this option and send the form so when you send the form um, your account creation link will be there for or activation link will be there from which you can follow the instruction and get your account created and uh, once you are done with all of this process two options uh, you can come over here login click sense cloud it is available on the main screen if i go back and uh, show you over here login click sense cloud or you can since you will be pro in coming days after watching these videos and uh, uh, you will feel like uh, you don't have to really follow this hierarchy because that's not how click works so remember this click cloud.com once you click it over here um, you will be presented to the click sense cloud version and uh, it will have the login option so through which you can start logging so you don't have to really visit the click website and create it so I have already created my account so I can just go ahead and log in so let me just go ahead and log in into my account and uh, initially it will take some time but for me it will not take that much time because I have already logged in so many times earlier and uh, yeah as you can see it just take a couple of seconds so once we are in here it's a very simple interface um over here it's kind of a home button that you can say if you are anywhere let's say over here click sense chart or click sense click cloud resources all of on this screen and you want to go back directly you just click it over here and you are here on the main screen where you are on your work my work so over here um i'll just show you a couple of things like uh, first of all the information about what your applications what your data files will be presented over here then you have my stream uh, where you have any published app if you have pub worked and done the f uh, and finished the work on any of the application then you can publish it your all the published app will come over here and then if you have the click sense chart uh, that you want to share with the others uh, as you can say then manage your shared chart here so these are like shared chart which you want to you know share with the other developers so you can do that um, when you are in the my work you have the options like uh, creating a new app importing the data some of the settings which we will see in future and uh, sorting your apps and data files either alphabetically or by published date or by modified date so with all of these options you can do that 
and uh, finally what you have is the click cloud resources where you have a lot of different application in the next video i will show you a sample application which is sales discovery uh, through which we will learn some of the terminologies of the click sense selection and then you have some uh, videos about uh, how you can like how you can connect to salesforce connector your first app all of these things you can you can make use of it and uh, get get your learning even started from there as well and uh, here are some of the links to explore a demo app which is nothing but will take you over here uh, watch a short video read a quick guide create an app share an app and then you have option of click community where you can ask questions if you have any problems you click uh, continuous classroom for any training purposes help market you know some of the options which we'll see in futures but and finally explore click sense cloud so all of these options are available you feel free to explore these and uh, you will find some lot of good information over there but i just wanted to give you an overview about uh, what the click sense cloud is and uh, how we can work in that well in the next video we will see um, we will see about a sample application we will learn about some of the selection methodology some of the terminologies about uh, when you make a selection what it is and how different types of selections that you can make so stay tuned for that and uh, don't forget to subscribe it so that you get all of that videos and uh, if you like this uh, videos and uh, enjoyed it go ahead and hit the like button well i'll meet you in the next video then